Hi, hello, welcome to a new video. In this video, I, I found a recent article on deep brain stimulation and it's a, a, it is an effect in long term. So, deep brain stimulation is an established treatment for severe isolated dystonia. However, it's used in disabling and treatment refractory tardive syndromes, including tardive dyskinesia. Is, well is less well investigated and long-term data remains sparse. So the method is important and what they measure is also important because we should uh, we want to assess long-term effects of it. Um, they use the, this, these psychological scales and abnormal involuntary movement scale um, so there are so uh, back depression is uh, filled by the patient and I think quality of life and mood were also uh, filled by patient so it says mood had improved significantly but quality of life remained unchanged unchanged compared to baseline no serious long-lasting stimulation-related adverse events were observed. Three patients of this cohort presented without active stimulation on ongoing symptom relief at long-term follow-up. And they say it is a safe treatment as a conclusion. So because there are many people they think is not very good, the technique is not very good, you are frying people's brain while most of the clinicians um, claim that it's very good very useful for patients because if they take like drug they you should wait um, like some months and there, there are also side effects so but with this treatment you got very quick results in very short time at minimum side effects anyway thanks for watching this video i wish you have a beautiful day bye bye